Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to Sakura Dungeon. Last time, we were exploring the 23rd floor, and, uh, well, we ran into some technical issues, if you will. Um, but, uh, in between episodes, in between episodes, though, I, um, I actually sat down and freaking caught up, I guess you could say. I tried to restore the map to as much as I could to what we had before. I think I might have gone a little bit farther, but I don't think it's that noticeable. Um, I guess the first thing we're going to do is check out this here door. Uh, oh, okay. Just some, just some pots in here. Okay. Got through with them. Let's see what ye pots have. Ooh, a yeeling potion. And nothing. And nothing. Alrighty then. Um, I'm 95% sure I actually went back and defeated the angel again. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Alright, not bad, not bad. Finished up with them. Okay. Uh, shit, I guess I could say. So, I'm sorry, but you're probably going to have to watch me do this several times throughout the episodes. From now on, don't plan on losing progress like we have been through freaking RAM filling up. Okay, um... Shit. Honestly, I guess it would be fast to just do this. Good. Okay. Um. Yes. Oop. Almost stepped. Ah! God damn it! <laughs> Didn't even get the words out of my mouth that I almost stepped on the other one, and there I fucking go. Well, alright. Let's see. Suppose since we screwed ourselves out of that, we might as well go through the middle. Well, to be fair, I think that was only like the first time I accidentally stepped on one of those since I've been down here. Who knows? Because I know I intentionally stepped on one earlier. Okay. Oh, be careful. Oh, shit. Be very careful. Oh, okay. Ah, nuts. R and Jesus, bless me. Yes. Thank you. You were with me on this day. I just noticed during the last fight that I really need to heal up real quick. So if you'll excuse me for one moment. Alright, done and done. Boop. Walk this way. Turn around. Yes, good. Okay. Um. Alright, let's see here. Looks like we have a room. Okay. What have ye room? Holy crap, an entire desert. Good lord. A boundless desert spreads out before you. Yomi doesn't say anything. Wait, says Siri. Weren't we in the dungeon? She asks. Why are we in a desert? That floor had a number of different teleporters on it, said Yomi. I would say this is a spatial malfunction. Explain it in normal terms, please, asked Siri. We are inside an alternate reality, says Yomi, and this one is completely composed of sand. 
Looking all around us, I can see no visible way back to where we came. Listen, says Yomi, we might be stranded here for a little while. But if we stay out here, says Siri, great winds swept across the desert, kicking up sand in our faces. Yes, but there's nothing else out here. We have nowhere to go, says Yomi. Peering out into the distance, something seems to catch Siri's eye. What about that over there, Yomi, asks Siri. I think I see water in the distance. That's just a mirage, an optical illusion, says Yomi. Please don't go wandering off by your... When I look to where she is pointing, I do actually see a bit of green amongst the yellow sand. Wait, I think you might be right, says Yomi. Then what are we waiting for, asks Siri. A vast green oasis spreads out before us. Crystal clear waters shimmer perfectly, reflecting the blue sky above us. Well, at least we'll be fine for water, says Siri. When do you think we'll be able to get out of here, she asks. Just a moment, says Yomi. Concentrating on the surrounding environment, I begin to look for the dimensional breach which brought us here. Almost. Almost. I think I've found it, Siri, says Yomi. But Siri doesn't say anything. Siri, asks Yomi? Is something wrong? Y Yomi, something's emerging from the sand, says Siri. Turning around, I see she is quite right. Oh, hello. A strange tanned woman that appears out of the sand, her blonde hair shimmering in the sunlight. What are you doing in my domain, asks the Sand Sentinel. This desert, and all therein, is mine alone, says the Sand Sentinel. If you don't mind, we were about to leave, says Yomi. I'm afraid I cannot overlook your blatant invasion of my desert, says the Sand Sentinel. Come on, says Siri, surely you don't own this entire desert. Now isn't a good time, Siri, says Yomi. As far as I can tell, she's quite a powerful monster. Fortunately, I found the breach, says Yomi. We should be able to flee if we need to. What should we do then, asks Siri. Run or fight? Well, says Yomi, perhaps she might make a good subordinate. We might as well not leave this place empty-handed, says Yomi. Hell yeah, we're fighting. Let's go! I ain't scared, I ain't scared of no things, and fucking hell, she's already stripped again. God dang it. Oh well, it's okay. Alright, alright, alright. Smashing blow, she has floating. Uh, we'll just try to slowly whittle her down. Um, mass slow. Nope, dodged it. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, maybe a crystal spike will connect. Venom shot. Okay, um... Another crystal spike. Venom shot. Um, geez, this is not looking good so far. Um, hurt on flow. Hmm. Oof, good grief. D shield. Um, oof. Gosh, she just dodges everything and dishes out so freaking much. Jeez. <sighs> spicy fight, spicy fight, that's for damn sure. If only I could hit her with something. But nope, that's apparently not allowed. Uh, 
Oh, okay. That's fucking fine and dandy, isn't it? Uh, thank, thank, thanks, thanks. Yeah, that, that's great. That's fucking great. Yep, that, yep, amazing, amazing, fucking amazing, fucking amazing. All right, I'm calling it here for this episode, everybody. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for more Soccer Dungeon.